This is a Venus Love Pick a Card reading. Um, mostly talks about um, how can you invite more love into your life, um, highest ideals, um, radiate inner beauty, um, outward, etc. So there's, you know, a few, a few things here. So we have group one, group two, group three. So pick whichever one resonates for you. Or you can roll a dice or whatever. Um, I roll a dice because, you know, uh, it's a game of chance, you know. Um, so I also have, I think, channeled messages. This group was really, like, talking to me. So I was like, okay, I'm going to write everything down. Okay, so this is group three, this is group two, and then let's do group one first. Okay, so with group one, let's do how to invite more love into your life. We have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is uh, strife and logic in reverse. So great hate, things moving too fast, an inability to choose an idea, a cut or an accident, painful treatment, confusion, brutality, and chaos. So, basically, I feel like it will probably bring chaos and stuff, or there might be some chaotic things in your life already that are kind of preventing this from being a thing, or... There's, there's other things at play here. It's a lot of um, energy. Usually with the Ace of Swords, it's new focus. I think in this point you can't focus. So anything that comes in, you probably will be distracted also. But um, yeah, you might have a need for a distraction or you just want some companionship to some degree. Okay, so um, how can you align with your highest ideals or ideas? Um, we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is love, family, and relationships in reverse. My candle keeps dripping all over the place, so... Um, anyway, so love, family, and relationships in reverse. You get what you want. But uh, that isn't what's best for you. So too much of focus on status, attention, physical pleasure, sluggishness, dissatisfaction, and lack of interest. So there's a... Um, you might need to clear this out or you might need to actually do some house cleaning of things that you need immediately and things that you don't. But I feel like you might be doing this in order to get clout, attention, or status. Which, you know, to be honest, who cares? But, um, anyway. Fun stuff. So, we have number three. How can you, br how can you bring more harmony into your relationships? So, we have Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is work and business, so start of something new and exciting, um, a time for a brilliant idea, a creation, establishment of a business, willpower, inspiration, fire in your belly, and desire. So there's a bit of um, a bit of a need for business related things. It could be that you need something that motivates you, something that's new and exciting, something people are looking forward to seeing. Um, you know, could really be anything, but you know, it's, it, it's something that would catch somebody's eye that would be on a higher scale than what you're used to. Okay, so we have how can you aid your creative expression? We have the end of a relationship with the Five of Cups. So it's like love, family, and relationships in reverse. So um, failure in business, uh, death of a loved one, depressive mood, finding peace, um, terminal illnesses, 
acceptance and moving on. So you could be moving on from a point that would otherwise, um, uh, you know, be alright. I feel like your creative expression um, comes from a point of sadness. My point of art, artistry also comes from sadness. That's when I feel more, you know, it, inspired, which is kind of weird and morbid. But again, some, some artists are actually um, morgue artists where they, you know, do designs with death or they do um, inspirational things um, for different illnesses and stuff like that. So it's, it, it's kind of an artist type of thing to be, you know, amused or inspired by points of like either, you know, death, imprisonment, or torture, which is kind of, you know. but again, it's, there's art to it as well as expression so that's kind of why artists are drawn to that type of stuff so it's, it's kind of a weird weird subculture but yeah it's a, it's a thing so let's see uh, what can you work on increasing your financial health or finance and health uh, okay so we have the world the world in reverse is travel and world issues in reverse. So news beginning, uh, a new beginning that is unwelcome, uh, that will have a good outcome in time, incomplete and no closure. So it's kind of like if something's going on autopilot and it's not really giving you the... Um, closure you need because some some people need closure some people need truth and I'm a person that loves truth over closure because closure is never really closed as if you've if you've watched my you know channel for any amount of time I do do death days and usually I get information from the other side that these people are still around and that's kind of creepy but also pretty cool at the same time so, you know, it's that type of thing. So, closure is not really closure. So, that's uh, that's the thing. Um, so, how to radiate your own inner beauty outward. We have the five of pentacles in reverse. So, finance and health. Poverty, bankruptcy, um, improvements, financial devastation, ill health, home loss, sickness, disease, Disaster in business, recovery, and clarity. So there's um, some stuff there. It could also be charity as well. Um, some people, they get inspired by the weird, darndest things or the weirdest things. But, um, yeah, I feel like you might get inspiration from, like, a difficult situation. Um, so, yeah. So some people do, some people don't. Um, but yeah, I feel in your situation you might actually get a lot of inspiration from the subculture of death, destruction, chaos, and mayhem. Um, I've done that, but I'm more of a surreal artist, so I love having a chaotic thing happen in the most unlikely of places with the uh, most unlikely of things. So it's kind of like a game of Clue, but instead of a hammer, there's a fish. Um, anyway, so I will see you in the next reading. As you know, life is a journey, and the way you look at things could really uh, impact the world. So, you know, check it out. Anyway, thank you, Group 1. I'll see you in the next one. All right, later. Alright, we have group two. Alright, so, how can you invite more love into your life? We have temperance. Um, so, peace and happiness. That's <laughs> kind of up front. So, pure commitment, middle path, a peaceful home life, patience, 
the end of arguments, the end of conflicts, finding meaning, uh, management of time and money. So uh, you could be wanting to kind of have a peaceful life or you could kind of want like very calm company, if that makes sense. Very quiet company, which uh, could be a cat, could be a dog, could be just another person that's very zen with your energy also. So, um, let's see. How to align with your greatest ideals or ideas. Um, we have the King of Cups here. The King of Cups is in reverse, so it's um, love, family, and relationships in reverse. So calculated, coldness, unable to let go, manipulative, um, moodiness, devoted to a fault, bad advice, um, abuse of emotional intelligence. So there's a point here where there might have been some stuff going on with your relationships. So you might want to close off from them or reconnect with people or kind of find a equal equilibrium of the whole thing where you only uh, have a few people over or you only accept a few people's offers as far as going to meetings and things like that so that you don't have to deal with a lot of craziness and you can meditate or do your artwork or um, do what you like to do. Um, I feel like a lot of people they get so caught up in other people's stuff that they never sit down and say what am I good at, you know, I need to do stuff with my life too, but, you know, I, I feel like that's kind of where you're at, and you kind of want to have people around that are on the same path as you to bounce ideas off and have that kind of thing in your life, so, let's see, how can you bring more harmony into your relationships, we have the three of wands, the three of wands is work and business, so great opportunity, a chance for travel, an opportunity to trade internationally, um, expansion, working in a team, help from others, rapid growth, um, looking ahead. So there's, um, there could be like, you work in a group or something, so you're excited about a new opportunity or project, and, um, you know, it's something that you always wanted to achieve, and there's other people that are excited about it as well. So it's a, it's a big step forward. Um, so let's see. What can aid in the creative expression? We have the devil in reverse. The devil in reverse is addictions and obsessions. So we have violence and abuse, uh, freedom, psychological torture, Cruel intentions, release of desire for, desired for nothing positive, and restoring control, addiction, and addiction problems. So, like, you could have addiction problems, or you could, um, have somebody who's an enabler, um, people that are enablers, I'm going to say this should be taken out and shot because it's not helping the person that's going through it. It's actually torturing their soul inside. So, um, you know, kind of try to help people out that need help or they want improvement because it's going to help them along their way. And it's not going to be an enabling thing because people that have addiction problems, if they're enabled too much... They tend to go off the deep end, where they can't get high anymore, they can't get satisfaction anymore, they can't feel enlightened anymore by a substance or an experience or a retail therapy type of situation. Any type of addiction does have its turning point, and that turning point is when it goes to access, where it's um, more excess and it's a problem. Okay, so you might be going through problems of your own, maybe financial or otherwise, and nothing's working in order to give you that high or make you feel a certain way that you wanted to feel uh, for a long time. So it's it's one of those type of things, and I, I don't think it's healthy to, um, you know, increase the volume of your obsessions or 
your addictions to a point where there's nothing um, that can really stop you, which is a very scary thought. And you have to have a stop, moderation, a turn off valve in order to be a healthy person. Okay? Um, and that's how I see it. You know, some people, you know, they can go, 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 and then it just looks crazy. You know, you don't want people looking crazy. Um, so we have what can you work into a, to increase your financial health. We have the chariot in reverse. Um, the chariot in reverse is um, fame and achievement, a desire for revenge, war, lack of control, conflict, lack of direction, showing off um, aggression, using others for your benefit. So there's um, there's a point where it kind of gets out of control. But I'm going to say this. There's a limit. There's a limit to what people can take. And, you know, the, the train does run out of track. You know, the string runs out of string. You know, and it's, it's just time is not on your side for any anything okay so it's just I can sit and wait you know time's on my side because I already know how it's an end I don't need to be convinced that you're gonna get better or the situation's gonna improve I know it's gonna get worse I know my situation's probably gonna get worse but I'm ready for that you know I'm addicted to other things I'm addicted to money <laughs> that's not healthy because Sometimes my personal relationships suffer because of that. I like telling people advice. I like doing stuff that other people might find dangerous. But there's a point where even in my lifetime, I'm going to see my own destruction. You're going to see your own destruction. And if you're not looking for it, it's going to come as a shock. Okay? So, you, know, you kind of have to look at that. Anyway, we have number six with how to... Radiate your inner beauty outward. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Strife and logic. That's insane. Um, so, complete ruin, recovery, life in tatters, regeneration, destruction, time behind bars, resisting an inevitable end, betrayal by those that you trusted most. So there's that. Um, there's fighting for recognition, Journalism, a foreign uh, con uh, confiance, so that you could be a foreigner, you could be in a foreign land. Overseas study, so there's um, a couple things. Um, so that's a bit of a problem. Okay, so you're fighting for recognition, but at the same time, you're also fighting to not become a sadist. Sadis uh, statistic. Mm. I need another cup of coffee. Mm, pretty fantastic. Anyway, so like everything in life, it's a journey, so yeah. It it could be to the point of uh you're in the routine of your job, you're in the routine of this, you're in the routine of that. But it's all gonna come winding down at some point. So enjoy it while you can. Um document the stuff you can remember take pictures of places you've been <laughs> I guess and um, you know hopefully it's a fulfilling life a lot of people they get into certain situations they can't get out of or they see themselves in the candlelight and they figure I'm not supposed to be here but anyway, um, group two, hopefully this helped you out. I'm a little bit elusive myself. Um, <laughs> uh, something like that. Anyway, one of my candles was lit earlier, so it had to take out some, uh, stuff that was in my room. But, yeah, it's all good. Um, I feel like with addictions, you're gonna have to figure it out on your own. Okay, so... Take care of yourself. Life is a journey. Um, you know, and stuff's gonna happen. 
I, I hope it's stuff that you want to happen, but at other times there are lessons to be learned, okay? Anyway, thank you group two, and I will see you in the next reading. Later. Alright, we have um, group three with how to invite more love into your life. We have the moon in reverse. The moon in reverse is uncertainty in reverse. So there might be some certainty here. So all is not as it seems for the worst. Fear, infidelity, unfaithfulness, confusion, misinterpretation, um, dangerous situations, negative energies. So there's a bit of um, clarity coming your way, Phil, or you kind of solving the puzzles. Um, I think that's a song, actually. So um, solving the puzzles in your own free time, I think that was Tracy Chapman, I think. I think so. But yeah, that was one of her lyrics, I think. So let's see. How can you align with your highest ideals? We have the five of wands with work and business, an exciting uh, challenge, a chance to show your skill, sportsmanship, rivalry, opportunity to grow conflict, um, friendly competition. So there's, there's a bit of, um, of a fight for recognition, I feel. So, I mean, take it as it goes. So, how can you bring harmony into your relationships? We have the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is work and business, so accomplish goals, victory, recognition, public reward. You will be successful. Um, hard work paying off, rewarded emotionally and financially. So, there's going to be a big payout coming soon. Um, or something, something happening that's kind of big, um, maybe an event or something. Okay, um, we have what will aid your creative expression. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is finance and health. So works hard, efficient, um, takes their time, has the patience of a saint, is persistent, hard work, reliability can be relied upon so there's a kind of big responsibilities I feel or there's um, kind of being a leader you're taking a leadership role okay so what can work into increasing your financial health you have a ten of cups the Ten of Cups is love, family, and relationships, so happy family, inner happiness, love that goes the extra mile, fairy tale endings, fulfillment, achieving your deepest desires, uh, perfect relationships, marriages, dreams coming true. So if you're manifesting right, everything comes true, and I feel like you might be doing that. You're getting everything in alignment. So let's see, how can you radiate inner beauty and worth? We have the Four of Swords. Isn't that just lovely? So strife and logic, self-care, rest, time spent alone, much needed rest, um, time away from social media, time to reflect, restore contemplation. So there's a, a, a minute or two of you just taking it easy. Maybe you're going on a vacation or you're going um, just to take a day off maybe do some self-care maybe some meditation maybe get your hair did um, go to your favorite stores stuff like that or get stuff that you always wanted to try like you know like I wanted to try some stuff uh, yesterday and it, it was brilliant like I must say um, some products that I come out today is just brilliant I got some house cleaner stuff for my floor downstairs. I have a white marble floor. It's fantastic. You should see it. But, um, yeah, it's it, it's pearly white again. So I'm just excited that the product worked on my marble floors. 
So anyway, we have bordering to burnout, old couple bickering, success at work, being appreciated for who you are, recovery in family, a spiritual retreat. There might be a lot of recognition here too. Maybe you're famous or something, but I, I got um, like picture of somebody who's famous signing something. So you might be famous. Um, that could be a thing. Anyway, group three, hopefully this helped you out in some way, shape, or form. I will, however, be trying to do some things with my other content that will be interesting and fun. So, you know, oh, I'll, I'll try to keep you uh, up to date with that. Um, that might be something for July to go over. But, um, anyway... Thank you, Group 3, and I will see you in the next reading. Remember, life is a journey. Um, make sure you manifest and you meditate or you do something good for yourself every day. You take a break, you know. Um, try, try to, um, you know, just do some personal stuff that makes you feel good. Anyway, thank you, Group 3, and I will see you in the next reading, alright? Later.